Hi guys and welcome to this very unique slash uh, awesome video that I'm doing just before I go live on twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. Um, pretty much a lot of guys keep asking me during my live stream, Cobra, how do you keep making so many credits? Well, here's your questions and I'm going to answer them straight now. Uh, rule one, do not overly mod your guns. Um, regardless of what gun you're using, whether it be a Strongevere, whether it be a uh, SMG, Granted, this weapon is overly modded, but most of the mods in this have such a low uh, uh, cost point that it's cost effective. Also, there is a website you can go to. I highly suggest that you do. It's an amazing website. I cannot, cannot suggest it much more. And that's uh, Red Demon's HNG Tool. Um, I will post a link in the video description. You guys can check it out yourself. And pretty much what it does is you can compare weapons or, or you can actually build a virtual weapon without it costing you a single penny. Let's take a look at the rifle uh, 1903. And say so we're going to go with the match 72. And we've got your old fine duplex. No trigger because no, no respected man puts a trigger on the damn thing. Heavy bolt. And say we go with a scout 2 barrel. Okay, and go to the advanced options. And here we can do weapon stats, price to repair, price to build, armor penetration chance. See, you can do a whole bunch of extra things like shots per damage, damage per magazine per clip. You can even add in things like your uh, 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 badges that you've got. Fast reload, for example. Level gold. Badge two. Uh, let's say we'll go with quick pointer. Gold. Target with heavy set badge. Silver is the average. Okay, then you just click compare and it generates everything for you. It's on Google Docs and scripts and whatnot. And then here we go. Shots to kill two at all ranges. There you go. 28 rounds per minute. Flat time to kill. Excuse me, time to kill. Damage per second. And this is the numbers you want to look at. Price to repair, price to build. Cost you 92 for that. 158 for the credits, internals, barrels, grand total, 345,900 credits. Now, total repair price is 4,778 per 100 shots fired. Okay, so there you go. And here's some more other stats for you. Pouches, reload time, ammo capacity, damage versus tanks, damage versus others, your millimeters of penetration, three to six millimeters damage 91 to 52 it gives you everything you need to know about your gun before you commit to buying the mods okay i always use this when i'm doing a weapons review to explain to you guys why i chose those mods and then i actually show you some in-game footage of me testing those mods okay so i cannot suggest this web this website enough so plain and simple one go to the website two do not overly mod your weapons three do not spam grenades. Okay, we all know that one idiot on depot. We all know that one idiot in whatever map who just stands and just... He's got literally grenades everywhere. And you ask him what weapon he's got and he pulls out a pistol and you're like... Literally, insert Picard meme here. And you just... Seriously, just... That's why, why I make no money. That's why you make no money. Okay? Do not throw more than two grenades a match total, period. I don't care if you kill eight people with each grenade. Do not throw more than two grenades. You're, it's not cost effective. Two, do not overly modify your weapons. Yes, I do know that my Gewehr is heavily modified. That's because I'm going dedicated recon with this guy. I have my rifle set up this way because the majority of the upgrades came with the gun because this weapon was built bought from one of the store bundles. Basically, go to bundles and I've purchased it that way and it comes with all these internals okay so all i've done is add a scout 2 barrel that's all i've done every other thing else came with the weapon okay but most importantly don't overly mod your weapon don't spam grenades like freaking crazy three check out that website okay and four i cannot stress this enough this is number four do not spend ridiculous amounts of credits buying anti-tank weapons to only kill APCs, Jeeps, and light tanks. You're not going to make... If you kill a light tank and it takes two Panzer Crackers, 
Okay, it takes two Panzer Crackers to kill any vehicle in the game, with the exception of the APCs, it takes one. Okay, but I always use two because you never know if you're going to get that one typical GI who jumps out with a wrench and starts wrenching. You know what I mean? So I always use two on everything, even though you don't have to. Now, I've never used a Panzer Cracker on a car. Never. Don't see the point. I just do not see the point. Nor a plane. I don't see the point. But tank destroyers, yes. Medium tanks, yes. Heavy tanks, yes. Light tanks, no. If they are the only anti-tank you have, then yes, use them. You are only going to make about 50 to 100 credits per light tank you kill. That's it. Taking away the cost of, uh, of the resupply of your anti-tank. There. It, it, it's just not cost effective to kill light tanks that way. You're better off using the, the Panzer Shreks that you see on those in the ammo crates at certain spawns. If there's no Panzer Shrek near you, near that tank, then I guess just mark the tank until a friendly tank can kill it. It's all you can do, or just ignore the tank and avoid it completely. You forget, if a tank is camping a certain point, don't get in his AO. Don't go anywhere near him. Flank him, go around him, until a friendly tank can kill it. Or just mark the buddy tank, tell your tankers, say, tankers, tank marked, here, flip. That's what I try to do most of the time. If we if we've got donkeys for tankers, or, or Elmer Fuds, or oh, can't see a goddamn thing, you know. Trust me, that's when I have to bust out my Panzer crackers. And honestly, that's when I literally just that's the wife. That's literally when I throw my hands up in the air and say, bite the bullet, run up, clink clink, tank's dead. Or as I like to say, plink plink. Oh, what if it, you know? It's the old Alka-Seltzer commercial, you know? Boom, tank's dead. I run, find that resupply crate, bling, bling, grab two more. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until the guy realizes that we've got dedicated anti-tank and he switches tanks. He doesn't go tank or he goes recon or he goes paratrooper or he goes something else. That's what I do, okay? I don't suggest you do that. Also, buy yourself a high-ranking soldier. I know this is counter demanding to what you think, okay? You will farm credits ridiculously with the Gewehr, with any semi-auto. That weapon is designed within the game structure to help you make money. And I'll even prove it by using the exact same website. So we're gonna to go to the Gewehr, okay? And we're gonna use my SS ammo, we're gonna use T post because that's all I've got. Uh, no trigger. Heavy spring. Scout two. Compare. I believe it. I'm, I believe I'm not running a trigger. Well, apparently I am running a trigger. So let me grab the trigger. Field trigger. And compare. And you're gonna see how you keep farming credits. There you go. 1,559 credits per 100 shots fired. You're barely going to fire 100 shots in a game. If it's a big map and the map, it goes on for more than 60 minutes, then yeah, you may see that price tag. But look, it's mostly the sites that you're repairing. Look, your ammunition costs is only 140 credits. Your barrel, 381. Do you see? It's mostly the scope. And you don't necessarily have to take the scope. I take it because I'm going dedicated recon. But you don't have to take the scope. See? Total price to build the thing, 174,400 credits. You can do it. Okay? You can do it, guys. There you go. Shots to kill. Up to 124 meters is two shots. Three shots beyond that with a gewehr. This is why the current meta is semi O's over bolt actions. There. Now you know how to make credits because even if you go negative KDR, say you died 10 times and killed eight targets like on, a, on an average, you're still gonna walk away with about 2000 credits per game at low rank at rank four, which I believe this guy is. Yeah, yeah, rank four. 
you're still going to walk away with 2,000. Can you imagine how much credits I walked away with with a rank 11 soldier using my Gewehr, just grinding up my assault ribbons just to get my strong Gewehr 44? I was walking away with 8, 9, 10, 11, almost 12 grand after repairs just using my Gewehr. Stream highlights, go check them out. Me grinding out to get the Strom Gewehr. That's how I did it. I had almost 400, I, I think I had just a little over 400,000 credits by the time I got the Gewehr unlocked. I had enough credits to go buy and then start buying the mods because again, I've been picking up my friend's Gewehr, leveling up my Gewehr's ribbon. So I went trigger, spring, done. And that's it. I've now maxed out my Gewehr. Yeah, I'll show you on the ribbon review. Sturm Gewehr 44, maxed out. Gewehr 43, maxed out. Machine Pistol 34, maxed out. Machine Pistol 40, maxed out. C96 Pistol, maxed out. I've still got to get myself a, P, uh, a POA. I don't own a POA. I've been nicking other people's POAs and using them. Same as the P38. But like I say, you can do it, okay? I hope this answers your question. I really do. I really hope this answers your question. I notice, no veterancy. No veterancy. If I had veterancy... I would be gaining a whole lot more credits. So step one, obviously, get veterancy for 30 days, give it a try, compare the numbers, play the game for 30 days without veterancy, then get veterancy, play the game for 30 days, and compare the numbers. You'll see the difference. Most importantly, don't overly mod your guns. When I was using my Gewehr, okay, look, Scout 2S, T-Post, ammo. No trigger, no spring, that's all I used. It's all I used, and I walked away with bank. Damn near every match. With a minimum of 10 kills. I walked away with bank. You can do it too. Same, look, 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 look. Yeah, I'm overly modding my weapons. Just the trigger on my MP34. Just the trigger on my MP40. Just the trigger in spring. Sometimes I will grab the ammo if I really want the extra knockdown power, if I know it's going to be a, like a bigger map, which I don't. Nine times out of ten, it's just the trigger and the spring. That's it. See? No car. I don't own a bolt action. Don't. I've got enough to buy the machine gun. Uh, uh, the MG34. I've got enough to buy the PO8. You see, guys? You can do it. You can do it. Here, look at all the explosives I can buy. Not that I want to. I just, I can. I just choose not to because I don't need them. Panzercracker's the way to go. You want to kill tanks efficiently? Panzercracker. Means you've got to get up close and personal to the damn tank which isn't really that hard as long as you've got friends to distract the tanker clink clink done as well with the bazooka you've got a slight chance you're going to miss or or, or or fail to pen same as the panzer shrek high chance you're going to miss high chance you're fail going to you know fail to, you're going to fail to pen but you can do it guys okay you can do it see you can do it you can do it all right you can do it that's how you do it so step one don't overly mod your weapon. Step two, don't spam grenades or mines or, or, or any of that stupid shit. Just don't. Because you're going to get that one idiot that stands there and starts shooting your mines. And that's wasted credits. Because you, your mines aren't killing their tanks. They just see a skull and crossbones like, Ugh! You can always spot those retards, okay? So don't put mines down. Don't even bother. Just... You want to farm out your, your, your tank destruction? Get yourself your car. I know this sounds stupid. Get yourself your car, drive it around until you get the Panzer Shrek, and then just use that to level up your tank destruction until you get your very first anti-tank sticky. Okay? Then get stick with that, and you're done, and then change out the Panzer Faust for an ammo pack for a resupply station, and you're good. Just drive around, clink, clink, get back in your car, drive away, resupply, come back, clink, clink, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It's all you need to do. And it's literally just tank destruction city. All of a sudden, especially if you're Soviet, you've got your PTRD, which is the one thing I know you Soviets want, is your PTRD. That's how you do it. So there you go. Um, hope these tips helped you. If they did, um, give this video a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. If these tips didn't work for you, uh, then please let me know in the comment section and I will adjust... I'll, I will add annotations to the video. Uh, as always, guys, keep your shots flying, keep your enemies dying. The Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you on the battlefield, my friends. Until then, take care.